from the time of slavery until the Holocaust. There were people who spoke out against atrocities, but they weren't able to prevent them from happening. sophisticated military against a largely civilian population. Right on cue, there's another explosion. So let's go to our correspondent, Aiden Mokhnudin. There was a huge disconnect between the reality and what was being described to the outside world. This was my first big story, and the first time I'd been in that kind of environment, I went thinking I was going to be there for 24 hours. I came out two and a half months later. Prima facie evidence of possible war crimes and crimes against humanity is emerging daily. Is emerging daily. White Monday. Oh, I couldn't imagine the kind of destruction I was seeing. The kind of destruction I was seeing. Anytime the government tells the media that they are not able to go in to a war zone to see for themselves firsthand what is happening, it's a disservice to information, it's a disservice to public knowledge, uh, it's genuinely a disservice to humanity. But there simply aren't enough beds to cope with the number, number of injured. Eleven people have now been killed, 26 injured, many of them critical. It's just chaos, it's intense chaos. And every night you go to sea really not knowing if you're going to make it the next morning. Listen, there's another, there was another strike. Can you guys see that? Do you guys see that strike? I mean, you're right. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? The reality was this war was exacting a toll on the civilian population that needed to be captured. And this was the, the essence of our reporting. The gap is widening between what America practices and what it preaches. And the rest of the world sees it, the rest of the world has caught up to it, but the American people haven't. And it's time that they are aware of that. Because if they don't, it's gonna come back and really haunt them for a very long time to come.